right, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and that means we're doing some cooking. First thing you want to do is scan that QR code that you see on the screen, and uh, that will take you to a link for today's recipes. What you're looking at here is uh, my visit in London to a Willy Wonka chocolate making class. We recreated the chocolates that they you will see in the movie that opens on Friday. They're sort of like tulip-like uh, chocolates that you put together uh, and kind of meld together with hot chocolate. That's what they look like when they're done. They're so beautiful, uh, but would be so incredibly difficult to do uh, here because you need chocolate molds. Look at that, look how beautiful those things are. Uh, but I was inspired with some other uh, chocolate ideas when I was there. So today I'm making some uh, a chocolate peppermint bark and a chocolate orange bark, all inspired by the movie. We start off with these, uh, you know, good old uh, Nestle's chocolate chips. I've got a dark chocolate and a semi-sweet chocolate, and I'm gonna start off with the uh, semi-sweet, uh, into which I crushed up a bunch of candy canes, and I'm just gonna put some candy cane crumbles in here, and also some mint extract. Now, if you happen to have a little peppermint schnapps around the house, uh, that would work too, but a couple of teaspoons in there works perfectly. And then just mix it all together. You can put whatever you want into this chocolate. I'm gonna leave it just chocolate and peppermint, kind of like a frango almost. But you can put nuts, you can put fresh fruit, you can put whatever you want. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Uh, Cause then in our next mixture, this is the dark chocolate. Uh, you can put in some orange extract if you want to. That's one way to do it. Or our old friend uh, Quantra, this is the orange liqueur, which is uh, fantastic. And a little of the orange liqueur in here is just fantastic also. So that's going to get a little mix. Just fully incorporate it into the chocolate. Then what we're gonna do is spread it out into the, um, into the uh, pans. So I'm gonna take my peppermint mixture, and just pour it in, pour it into a pan. I'm gonna fashion myself a little double boiler here to keep the chocolate soft while we're getting ready to do this. Set that aside. Set this aside and give this a good spread. And it's done. That's all you need to do to it. Melt the chocolate, put whatever ingredients that you want inside of it, and then take those crushed peppermint again and sprinkle those along the top of it. Put it in the fridge a couple of hours overnight, a couple of days. This is something you can do ahead of time. This is something that would be fun for the kids to do also. Then this orange mixture, we're gonna do something similar here. And this is going to go into the pan. We're gonna spread this out. This one's a little thicker. Try to do this without dropping the pan here. You get the idea though, right? This is gonna go in. This is gonna spread. Spread this out, take your time and spread this out. And then onto this chocolate mixture. This could have been on the heat a little bit longer, as you can see. Well, let me just set that aside for a second. But once this ultimately does uh, spread out, I'm gonna take an orange, and I'm gonna zest it on top of the chocolate. Let me get rid of this horrible, ugly mixture because <laughs> this is not setting the way that it's supposed to. But this is what it looks like. This is what they are supposed to look like uh, when they are done. And look how nice these look. Yeah, this is the orange bark. This is the peppermint bark. They've been in the fridge for, I made them last night. <coughs> So they've been in the fridge for a little while. Just take a knife and slice these babies up. Break them down. And uh, these are really fun to serve 
for the holidays. You can just break these off as well with your hand. So the recipes are up online as always. You can scan that QR code to get your recipe for today. You can also go to wgntv.com slash Dean Cooks, or we can automatically send the recipes to you every week if you just text the word Cooks to 97999. Willy Wonka opens on Friday. Tomorrow I'm talking with its star, Timothy Chalamet. Mike? Okay, guys.